All right, Warren. All right, Shalom, Israel. Back with another GMS on the go. Well, this is Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. Yeah, all by Shimei and Shai. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this one million percent truth of the Bible. And a double shalom to all the sincere outcomes throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your abilities. We're going to get to a quick lesson real quick. I brought this out, won't be too long. We're going to go to spirit. This book of St. John. So like it, verse four, chapter 14, verse 15. Mm -hmm. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Right. The Most High said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And he's talking to you so-called blacks, Latinos, and the Americans. Mm -hmm. And he's really only talking to the hopeful elect. You know, because two-thirds are not going to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. And so read that from the top one more time. This is St. John 14 and 15. And it's written in red, so sorry how is was speaking. Okay. It says, if you love me, Keep my commandments. So that's what love is. Love is that we keep the most high's commandments. You know, but you got people out here trying to say love is this and love is that. Or love is, you know, so like you got people trying to say love is this and love is that. Mm -hmm. But love, according to the most high, that we keep his commandments. You know, love is not those those heart skipping beats. Um, those funny feelings that you feel in your chest. Mm -hmm. But once again, love is that we keep the most high's commandments. And those commandments are not eating shrimp. Pork, crab, lobster, mm -hmm. not sleep with the next man's wife, vice versa, not um celebrating these um pagan holidays such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, your birthday, your mama's birthday, Valentine's Day, New Year's, not um worshiping all these false gods who are no gods, mm -hmm. such as Caesar Bourget, Allah, Buddha, the Hindu god of Sheba, Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. That's what love is to the most high. And once again, we already know the only ones who's gonna own um, love of the most high. It's the hopeful elect, because those are going to be the same ones keeping his commitments to the best of their abilities. Yep. Kind of love isn't just some fuzzy feeling you get after you um give some homeless person a couple of dollars. Kind of. You know? Kind of. This is um First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High. Mm-hmm. So this is love. Like the Bible is about to break it down to you what love is according to the Bible, you know? Mm -hmm. According to the Most High's thoughts and words. For this is the love of the Most High that we keep his commandments. There it is again. It just said it first it just said it in um John fourteen and fifteen, if you love me, keep my commandments. Now it's backing it up saying the same thing. If you love me, keep my commandments. Mm-hmm. And it reads and his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. So it shouldn't grieve you to want to keep the most high's commandments. Mm -hmm. you they're know, they're it, not grievous. It's kind. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't grieve the hopeful elect to keep the most high's commandments. We do it with no problem because mm -hmm. we love the most high. Yeah, and we show our love by keeping the commandments. Kind. You know? But we, but it grieves two-thirds, you know? They get mad when we when we tell them they can't do the things they, that they want to do. Yep, you know, the commandments aren't grievous, you know, it's, when you really sit down and, you know, you start fearing your alibi, Shema Shai, it's not that hard to, you know, stop shaving your beard, mm -hmm. it's not that hard to, you know, have a healthy meal plan, you know, you know, and cut out all the, all the shrimp, crabs, and lobster, and pork, once you find out it's bad for your body anyway, it's not hard to, you know, to figure out that you shouldn't be doing those things, right. and that it's way more beneficial to serve you all by Shema Shai in sincerity and in truth. But I got a quick precept. This is Exodus 20 and 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. This is the Most High speaking. And that keep my commandments. So that's what we're seeking, you know. We're seeking mercy from you all by Shema Shai. And that's why we keep his commandments, you know. And we show it, you know, because we fear him. You know, and we wanna we wanna abide in the Lord's mercy when all hell breaks out and death and destruction. Mm -hmm. Who who would you rather help out in a time of need? You know, someone that loves you or someone that hates you. You know, mm -hmm. so we're showing our love to the Most High, Lord's will. You know, and it says the Most High is faithful and true, so He's gonna show love back on us as long as we continue and abide in His love. You're right, and like. Once again, love is that we keep the Most High's commandments, mm -hmm. so we gonna keep them to the best of our abilities. We wanna be on the we wanna be on the Most High's good side. Yep. 
And the priest said. Okay. This is Second John chapter 1, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And this is love. And this is love. Come on. The mo and the most time is repeating himself because he knew that there was going to be a time where these bowhead, um, these jakes were going to be saying that love is, you know, what you do for somebody mm -hmm. or, you know, that's that's the spirit of America. Love, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. But really it's a spirit of hate because they're not keeping what true love is, which is the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. The Lord set up these laws perfectly mm -hmm. for us to follow, and you know they're perfect. You know mm -hmm. they, if you find some one of your enemies oxes, you know, and like you know, just as an example, find an enemies ox and you find them wounded, you're supposed to return onto them. That's true love, you know. Mm -hmm. You know that person ain't you, you're showing love back. Like you know, you got that old saying in the world, "Kill them with kindness." That mm -hmm. works. It works. But this is um Second John one and six. And this is love, that we that we walk after His commandments. Right, we're supposed to walk after His commandments. Mm -hmm. we're supposed to keep the own um, commandments to the best of our abilities, day in and day out. You know. You gotta do them. You know, you're like you're walking, you're doing it. You know, you know, you're actually doing this thing. You're walking after the Most High's ways. Um. And his way is to keep in the commandments. I can't, I can't think of the scripture right now, but. This is Second John 1 and 6 again. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that, ye, that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. Yeah, so these are the commandments that were from the beginning of the times that we're supposed to walk after, you know, that we're supposed to walk in it, you know. So all the commit the, the commandments that were from the beginning of the time, th this is what's commanded us to do. Mhm. Mm so you know to walk out of His commandments, and one of the greatest commandments is to you know love the Lord with all our heart. Okay. What's what was that scripture? Matthew thirty-two. Twenty-two and thirty-seven. Yeah, I'm gonna read this. This I'll break it down. This is Saint Matthew's twenty-two and thirty-four. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence. They were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lord, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, what is the great commandment in the law? Conquer. Yahweh shall say unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Con. So this is one of the commandments that, you know, this is one of the greatest commandments that, you know, us brothers in truth have to be keeping, you know? You got to love the Lord thy power with all your heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. You really got to be meditating day in and day out the ways to please Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, and um, keeping these commandments to the best of your abilities, making sure you're not going off. You know, this is one, this is the greatest commandment to love the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai. If you do this commandment, you know, you're really, you're on top of things, keeping the Lord in your mind all the time. And we're going to get that Sirach 2 and 15 too. Okay. If you're keeping the Lord in your mind all the time. Meditating on these words. You're not going to go off. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to read that again. Yahweh shall I say unto him. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. With all thy heart. And with all thy soul. And with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy brother, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And you know your neighbor is the is your um is the brother in the truth, which you know. Mm -hmm. Chiefly, you know, an Israelite, but we know two thirds are Wicked. two thirds of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are deemed heathens, mm -hmm. not really not really um Israelites at this time. They're heathens, you know, they're Gentiles <laughs> yeah. for the birds in the nil. But um basically you know, and you show, how do you show your brother that you love him? By, you know, by doing things accordingly to the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. And, you know, and, you know, helping the brother out in need. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, doing things that are, you know, scriptural, you know. Right. That are lawful to the, to the brotherhood, you know. Right.